Bob Ross is a legend amongst us humans. And so today we're gonna pay him his due respects by giving 100 players their own painting map to build a Bob Ross painting. Each map has about 25 players on it and they've got one hour to build a Bob Ross painting as accurately as they can. And the best team gets to go into the mystery bedrock box to collect massive prizes. Building is now enabled. You guys now have one hour to copy a Bob Ross build. And guys, we'll, we'll throughout the video reference the images right here so you can see what they're building. So here's what Team Reds looks like or should be looking like it's coming together team purple is probably the hardest in my opinion they have to do the purple mountains but bob ross guys would give you guys some inspiration so me isaac and ben are going to give you guys some good old-fashioned bob ross inspiration real quick just beating the demons out of my microphone here all right guys we've got a crazy challenge coming up right now and we're going to start with uh pop tart you've got today's challenge and this is going to be fantastic i'm going to give you 10 seconds to find a block and if you go stand on top of that block within 10 seconds isaac has to do the next challenge that i give him. i'm dependent on you to fail the block that you need to stand on is blue wolf she has 10 seconds to find blue wolf she gets on it isaac has to go do whatever i tell him where'd she go where'd she's, she's, looking, go? she's looking she's looking she, she sees, there's literally blue wall behind her. There's not blue wall behind me. Literally right wall. back here, Pop Tart. It was right behind you. Hasn't been 10 seconds left. I TP her to me and it counts. Buzzer beater. Absolute buzzer beater. Because Isaac is the next challenger and Pop Tart won the challenge. Isaac, why don't you come to me to hear what you got to do next? Yeah. If you guys didn't know this, one of Bob Ross's all time favorite things to do was be out in nature. And that's why Isaac's got to go outside right now in his backyard and catch a frog. Isaac, we'll see you in a minute. You want me to catch a frog? Catch a frog, Isaac. You have three minutes. So if you pull out the map, we'll compare the actual map to the actual painting. If you pull out the red map, Ben, it's actually kind of cool. Like, I think that it's sideways. And this is what Bob Ross does, just sprinkles a little color. Now let's pull out our next map, the blue one. Talk about looking rough. Is that supposed to be a cabin in the center? Ooh. That's a bad cabin right there. Bob Ross is rolling over right now when he saw this. Purple is looking mighty fine. Wow, purple is looking fine. Now the thing is, a lot of them are building sideways. We'll rotate it if we have to at the end to get the right angle. And finally, we've got our tropical one. What's weird about the tropical one is they build a giant arrow pointing down. We have no idea what the giant arrow means, which is strange. No, Zach, I'll be honest, I could not film that, so there was nothing back. You didn't? Did you get a frog or no? No. He couldn't do it, guys. F and Shaffer as you couldn't catch a frog. All right, guys, so here's our team one painting. This is the video they're actually referencing right now as they do this challenge. This is, okay, so there's a lot more detail than I thought. You got to get that whole barn planted right there, which is tough. If you go towards the end of this video, there's two barns and an entire fence system right in front of it. And I don't think that they have this in their build. So let's take a look at theirs, keeping that mental image there and see if they're even close to getting it correct. What even is this? Oh, this is the barn. I, I don't I don't understand. So someone, somehow this is a red barn here in the middle. I don't know what that black square is. Oh, that must be the barn opening. Maybe this is a mistaken barn. Uh, it's not looking like an early winter today. And they might not be getting what's inside of this mystery box over here at the end. But hey, we'll see. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Savvy Tadpoles said someone opened a shop at the corner of red. That's so funny. I have to see it. Only five, seven and higher allowed. Lover shop. Buy plushies. Guys, speaking of plushies, if you want to be a champion, just like this team here today, go ahead and buy one of these. Link will be pinned below in the comments. This is only around for the next like less than three weeks. So if you don't have it yet, get it because this probably won't come back. And let me tell you guys, this is amazing. Get one right now. Get one right now. Buy them. Buy them. Okay, so looking at the purple image side by side, you've got the beautiful mountains, but I feel like the color's off a little bit in the mountains. There's not enough separation in the peaks. Kind of looks like a giant, uh, I don't know, a slug perhaps. Kind of looks like that, um, the uh, green slug from Star Wars. Now this guy, Savvy Topol, straight up isn't even helping Team Red. Uh, Savvy Topol is just out here making signs, literally is communicating to the other team saying all colors let's unite and other colors are not about that life. Uh, let's, let me uh, actually pull out the real map and see how this thing looks here. This is Team Purple. Now I obviously got to turn my head here. Now, on a map view, yeah. it's definitely, it's playable, man. That'll play. Uh, Zach, we have a massive issue. They can get through here. Everybody's going to Team Purple. If y'all try to break through the other side. We will ban you permanently from all future events. And yes, that even means the $1,000 events. I haven't looked at this beach one, like the final product, actually. So now let's compare. So final beach product, you got some beautiful dandelion. Oh, wow. Those are very thin trees. Did Bob Ross mess up there? There ain't no way that's holding up an entire leaf, right? That's like a stick. You've got the waterfall coming in, the sky. Dude, th this this is a tough one, Ben. This is a really hard one to make. Who wants Isaac to do another challenge, yes or no? All right, everyone said me except for one person, which was Isaac, so Pop-Tart, we're gonna give you another challenge. Pop-Tart, watch everybody. All right, freeze, don't move, Pop-Tart, don't move, don't move, freeze. All right, if Pop-Tart does this, Isaac gets another challenge, and Pop-Tart, what I'm gonna ask you is a simple question. Are you ready? No. All right, the question is, what are the four teams building? Blue? What? Did you say blue? Pop-Tart, the answer I'm looking for is beach, barn, ice, but it's oh. okay, you did fail, it's oh. okay, you did fail, but it's okay, it doesn't mean that we're gonna stop here. Isaac, are you ready for your next challenge? Yes. Get your phone out. Begin recording. Like, I cannot record myself. You're not recording yourself. You're recording what you're looking at. Like it's your eyeballs. What the? 
Heck. What I want you to do is go snipe a frisbee disc golf shot 50 yards. Got to get a hole in one. Back to the overview, though, of some of the four builds here. Yeah. That's a nice gradient. Look at that sun. I mean, that's I mean, you can tell what that is. You might know this is a Bob Ross painting. Now, these turn out really nicely. We're going to give these away to you guys as a downloadable file to use as your phone or a computer screen background, because who doesn't want Minecraft Bob Ross background? That's cool, except Team Red, unless they can step it up. We won't give you them. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a little bit of critiquing here. The sky has some issues, obviously. Take a look at the mountain, Ben. If we're going to zoom in really close to the mountain, this mountain has one, two, three peaks, but the real mountain has one, two, three, four three, peaks. Three, four. They're missing that small right peak on the mountain. Do you see they that? They are missing a baby peak, and they are flying to it right now to add it. <laughs> the entire team. We need a peak. Let's go. And here it comes. The peak is being created. Very nice. <laughs> team Red has a bunch of British people that can't view it. Oh. <laughs> so, guys, if you didn't know, British people for some reason can't view certain Bob Ross videos. I don't know why. I think he was, I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. That's going to hurt you guys. Hopefully, you can clutch it up. You do have the, the basic barn shape started, but uh, I really want to see you guys step up because the losing team does get banned for 50 hours on my server. The fourth peak has made an appearance, Zach. The fourth peak has made an appearance. They've corrected that pretty quickly. Guys, this is so pretty. Like, this is actually such a beautiful map. 28 minutes remaining, and we've also got a uh, emergency surprise coming in here today, folks. Team Red sucks, so we're turning off the whitelist right now to bring in backup for Team Red. Save Team Red. If you join the server right now, Team Red is getting extra bonus backup to help bring them back into the game. And here's a video from Isaac. Let's get a real reaction here today and see what we're looking at. That's a pretty good hit by Isaac. Isaac sends it home. Um, speaking of sending it home, we're down to 24 minutes, guys, on these teams. We need to unmute here on Kakashi. I realized something about the barn and we need to destroy the entire thing. So I'm, I'm referencing it right now. I'm looking at the painting and looking at the real yeah. one. There is no chance you guys pull this off. I'll give you guys a bonus. If Team Red wins at the end of this and pulls off the best build, every single member on Team Red will get 500 lover bucks. They are not even remotely close to getting top four. They might not, they might be fifth place there's only four builds team blue isn't that bad it's definitely not last place okay so guys this is the video that we're referencing for them to build for the the uh sunset here this is a team that might pull off the dub might come back from behind and pow, pop off it's just it's a it's just a simple beautiful painting but to, to pull off the waves is going to be so hard in minecraft so i don't know if they can do it but that's what they're referencing right now in this whole video you guys have seen it throughout and then to immediately cut back and to see this it's on a different level like this does not have the detail the water is half the build and it's got no detail so that's what i'm concerned about i don't know if they're going to be able to do it oh hey look at team red look at them they're zipping along they're zipping along quite nicely hold up they are moving like a bunch of little army ants but nothing on the map is like showing up good but they're moving quickly they're moving very quickly let's see their maps over here do they have them placed they're taking them down they don't have a reference map I'm certain about that they have a sign. It's a disadvantage. We give up. Team Red just said they give up. Team Red has an opportunity to win 500 lover bucks. And because they're British, they think they can't do it. They're saying they don't give up. One of their players did though. Team Red's in shambles. 500 lover bucks on the table per player. Well, I feel like has the ice one not changed in like a year. What happened to that? I'm, I'm not afraid to say. I'm about to say the ice team might've fallen in last place at this point. I think Team Red. Oh my goodness. Are you laughing Taff? Because you are stretching Come right on, now. On. I see a, a bunch of blue jellyfish up top above a giant rock on a floating cloud island with a little tiny house. Now, if we look at Team Reds, I can tell what Team Reds is and it's actually coming together like quite nicely. Team Reds is coming together so well right now. So now if you're on Team Purple Mountain, really you guys just need to clutch up the details and uh, that's what you got to focus on because Team uh, Ocean is a couple of big plays away from coming up from behind. Oh, that wave. They're definitely working on the wave. You can tell on the map. Oh, I know. It's, mm, it's, mm, oh man, this is tough. The more I look at this ice, dude, I think they might overtake the beach. It's what? My problem is with ice is that it looks like a floating island. Like the snow does not blend in at all to the surrounding environment. Like it's such a hard line. I don't like it. Look at Team Red. The barn's coming in and they're getting- That's oh, what I'm snow. saying. Team Red is actually looking good. Like it's not exactly as, as close to it, but like the build itself, I think is really coming together. In my opinion, Team Red's looks better as a painting than the other one. As Bob Ross would say, it doesn't have to be identical. It just has to be right. I think Team Red could be in second place. They could be a contender right now. Here's the thing, guys. Team Purple, you're not going to get much better than that. They pretty much nailed it. The other teams have a lot more room to improve. And if they improve more than Team Purple, because Team Purple does have some mistakes, they can clutch it. All right, Isaac, pick a team. Team Blue or Team Sunset? Team Blue. Team Blue is getting help, guys. If you're in the lobby and you would like to join, Team Blue is getting a final boost for the last five minutes. Team Blue, welcome your new members and your backup support. Hopefully you guys can pull off the dub today. This is, if you look at all four of them together, like instead of like one at a time, it's actually like, it's really cool. I like the contrast. They have five minutes, Team Blue, to fix the top half of their build or they're out. Dude, the voting is going to be yeah. brutal on a competition like this. Clutch it up, clutch it up, clutch it up. Come on, guys. You're down under three minutes. Okay, now this, guys, helps us see 
what we're looking at today as we approach the final one minute. I tell you what, you look at beaches on the map. This one looks a lot better now. It looks a heck of a lot better than it did. Even the freaking snow one, they looked like crap 30 seconds ago, somehow fixed the background. Time, build, break, and place have now been disabled for our Bob Ross event. And now we decide who is the champion team. Okay, so we're gonna give them a rating out of 10. So 10 being an absolute perfect build, and then we'll tally them up and see what our scores come to. So for the barn, Next, we have the snow ice biome. Let's compare that. Now, when you look at it accurately compared to it, it's missing the tree. They wiped it out, didn't even include it. That one leaves a little bit to be desired. I'll tell you that for sure. We've got the mountainous build. Absolutely beautiful. And finally, we've got to take a look here at the beach build. I mean, again, beach build came out great. Left a little bit to be desired. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and give it a voting right now. Now, this was the barn. Isaac a seven, Zach a five, Ben a seven. That gives the barn a score of 19 out of a possible 30 points. Team Ice, a five from Isaac, a three from Zach, a five from Ben, a 13 out of 30. Coming up next, we will do the beach. Eight points from Isaac, seven from me, and seven from Ben, 23. Now, finally, our last build. This is Team Purple. Could be the champion today if they get an extremely high score. Isaac gives it a nine. Zach gives it a nine. That is 18. All they need is a four. If they get above a four, they win. There were some things missing, guys, and that is why you did not get a 10. I gave you a nine. That is a score of 27 out of 30, which means first place goes to the purple build, second place goes to the beach build, third place to the barn, and fourth place to the ice build. Good luck, guys. Hole's been made. Okay. Team Purple gets to go inside through the spider web maze and see what they can find inside these chests. We'll get your rewards sent immediately if you want something. Shout out to Team Purple. And if you guys want these, if this video gets 15,000 likes, I'll make these downloadable on my Twitter at LoverFellowTV. As always, lick that screen, subscribe for more. See you tomorrow, peace. This is like one of those cooking shows. You have five minutes. It's good, but it needs a little bit more spice. It tastes good if I was a starving child.